Hi everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shagnik Datta. I'm a third year MBBS student at Bardwan Medical College and Hospital West Bengal. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very interesting subject and actually it has to be the easiest subject of all in the entire syllabus of MBBS and that is physiology. Physiology is usually being taught in your first year of MBBS and the reason it being the easiest of all subjects is because we can relate to this subject very well. Mostly, it is in parallel to the syllabus that we have read for biology during our NEET preparations. So during our NEET preparations, the things that we actually study in the zoology, physiology is actually an extended version of that. And that is why it becomes very easy for us to relate to this subject well. And usually people score a very decent marks in physiology without putting into much effort because the basics of physiology are already done in your class 11th and 12th. This is going to be a very short video where I'll be talking about the subject of physiology in three different sections. In section one, I'll be talking about the different resources that you can use for the subject of physiology. Number two, I'll be talking about the different topics and important topics that you should refer to for physiology and how should you actually deal with them. And number three, I'll be talking about the aspect of solving questions for the subject of physiology. Now, without much ado, let us get into the video. Talking about the resources, first let us talk about the books. The best book that you should refer to for the subject of physiology, in my view, is the book of Guyton and Hall. This book is not so hefty, the language is crisp and written in details. You can read these books line by line for every chapter and you will have a grip over the subject of physiology. This is an international edition book and this has got every information that you shall need for the subject of physiology and that's pretty much it for physiology. Now apart from this book there are two or three other books that you can refer to. Another international standard book is the book of Ganong but the difference with Ganong and Guyton is that Ganong is more clinical based and is not so detailed a book. If you have read Guyton first and then you refer to the book of Ganong, then it's good. And you can actually refer to Ganong for the clinical aspects for the subject of physiology. But Guyton should be a go-to book for physiology. Apart from that, I have also used a book called as Sembulingam, The Essentials of Medical Physiology. And this is also a good book. The language is very easy and it actually seems that it is an Indian book when you actually read the book, the book of Sembulingam. But what I really feel for this book is that this book has unnecessarily made a lot of chapters, divided every bit of the sections into multiple further subsections and that has made this book a little cumbersome to deal with. But the language is easy. If you can relate to this, you can go for this book as well. Typically, for the students of West Bengal, there is a very good book that actually goes on. That is the book of Dr. Debashish Pramanik. The students of West Bengal and the subsequent colleges, they use that book and that book is in parallel with this book of Sembulingam and mostly used by the students of West Bengal and that book is also good and great a book you can use. Now talking about the video resources which you should use for physiology. Now I do not have a direct suggestion for the subject of physiology which you can use or not and I really feel that in first year of MBBS no video lectures are needed for any subject whatsoever it might be. If you can read the books line by line, make your own notes, that's sufficient. But if you really want to refer to video lectures, refer to those teachers, refer to those video lectures who actually deal with this subject in a great details and you have a proper notes of that subject. It can be from any platform, be it Cerebellum, be it Marrow, be it Prepladder, anything. But make your own notes 
watching the video lectures and that would be good to go but apart from that if you really need a reference you can always refer to youtube as a educational platform and in that case you can refer to dr najib sir's lectures or you can also refer to that youtube channel named ninja nerd who has got great videos for different subjects and different contents you can always refer to that and that would actually help you while preparing the subject of physiology now let us come to the second section that is the most important topics now while reading and studying physiology you would actually feel that everything is important and you know a bit of everything that you were reading in physiology because the exact same chapters that you read in your class 11th and 12th are there in the subject of physiology but in a more extended manner so physiology turns out to be easier in that aspect now talking about the most important topics number one has to be the neuromuscular physiology where the action potential about the neuromuscular junctions the skeletal muscles and the cardiac muscles are dealt with these topics turn out to be very important and they actually form the basis of the subject of physiology on the concept of these action potentials resting membrane potentials and everything you shall know and understand and build your concepts for the further chapters and you would probably see these chapters being dealt in the very first classes of your medical college and even if you see them in the order they are present in the book you would always find them in the second or third chapter after the cellular chapters only after these topics of neuromuscular physiology the next important chapter that comes out is of cardiovascular system after that the neural system the nervous system dealing with topics like cerebellum basal ganglia all these are very important topics i will put down a link in the description box and in, and in the first pinned cop comment which you can refer to for some sample notes of mine and you can make your notes own handwritten notes based on that after talking about the important resources and the important topics the most important thing that we should know for the subject of physiology is practicing questions question practice is an essential and a must do thing for the subject of physiology if you do not then you will forget the basis of physiology now how should you actually practice questions for the subject of physiology what shall be the type of questions that you practice number 1 because physiology is a subject which is not so important directly related to the subjects that are being asked in the neat pg but has got always some reference questions so you should actually target your university exams first for the subject of physiology and then refer to the multiple choice questions so what shall you first do is you take out the 10 year questions for your university and solve them and mark them in the book and revise them multiple times so that you have got a good grab over the subject now after you have done that you can always move towards solving mcqs if you are enrolled into any institutes solve their question banks if not then collect some past 10 year questions of neat pg which are related to the subject of physiology then you can solve them in the description box i will give a link of the important topics which you should actually practice as a question long answer questions and refer to them for your university exams and you can go and download it from the description box below so with that i come to an end of this video if you really like this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video with whomever might find it helpful as well thank you see you in the next one